was involved from 1988 with my first show, which was Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, until 1993 with A Christmas Carol. I'm now a pediatric oncologist at BC Children's Hospital in Vancouver and a mom to three amazing daughters. I loved being part of musical theater and I remember at the time really wanting to pursue a career in the theater. However, I remember my turning point, which was in grade eight, when I got a uh, paid part in a, in a theater company at Edmonton and my parents told me I wasn't doing it. I was heartbroken at the time, but they probably had more insight than I gave them credit for. I was probably never destined for a career on the stage. Um, I went on to study science at the U of A and medicine there, and then I soon discovered that kids were actually the best patients and did my pediatric residency in Calgary at Alberta Children's Hospital before doing my subspecialty training in pediatric hematology oncology at BC Children's Hospital and CHOP in Philadelphia. Um, all this to say I only quite recently got a real job um, and though my path seems like something completely different from life in the theatre, there are actually quite a few parallels. I couldn't do the work I do without the incredible team of people around me. Uh, though there can be really tough days, I'm so lucky because I'm always surrounded by kids um, and kids who despite some of the toughest obstacles um, that are thrown in front of them persevere. They laugh, sing, dance, and at the end of the day are loved for their unique contributions to the world. Yeah, absolutely, I learned a lot. You learn about teamwork, about acceptance, and the courage to put yourself out there in front of an audience. Uh, these days I keep the singing, my singing, in the shower, uh, but only need to think about my 10-year-old self belting out a tune on the Arden stage to forget about my public speaking fears. Yeah, thanks to the world of social media, I've been able to reconnect with so many of my theater friends. I find it really inspiring to see how far many, that many of them have taken their talents and how many lives they've touched. Art does so many things for so many people and often in different ways. It can be a great outlet for personal expression, it can provide an escape from reality while also providing a path for a deeper understanding of the world around us. I have so many great memories. I remember being so inspired by SACT after attending a matinee production of Velveteen Rabbit with my class in 1988. I can't believe those kids up there were just like me and I wanted to be one of them. I also remember the thrill of being in my first show, Joseph. I was sitting on the bottom of that beautiful pyramid set that we had. Um, and I also remember that we weren't supposed to, I wasn't supposed to wear my glasses because it didn't really fit with the costumes of the biblical era. So I took them off and I was basically blind running around that set, but I, I fumbled around and followed the kids and, and survived. Um, I also really loved those pre-show energy circles that we did with the whole cast and crew in the green room where you join hand, hands or was it pinky fingers um, and get energized for the show ahead. I think for me it was pride. I was so proud of being part of the group and the work we did together, the productions we were able to put on. It was truly a, a wonderful experience. Thank you.